Hello, hello, what's up, y'all? Hi, this is your boy, Amson the Whale. Well, I pray and hope that this video reaches you in the best of health and in the best of spirit. Uh, in this video today, I wanted to speak about uh, Kenya's Deputy President, William Ruto, and uh, the disrespectful comments William Ruto made the day before yesterday uh, directed at the people of Congo as a whole and uh, Congo as a country. Uh, the day before yesterday, a video appeared circulating on the internet, a uh, video of uh, William Ruto uh, during a campaign rally in the Kenyan town of uh, Nyeri. In this video, uh, uh, Kenya's deputy president, William Ruto, uh, in his attempt to please the people who were present at his rally, in his attempt to show the worth of his country, in his attempt to please these people or to make them feel good in themselves and their being, uh, William Ruto thought it was necessary for him to drag some other Africans through the mud. You understand? He thought it was necessary to disrespect some other Africans. So he picked on the people of Congo. You understand? He picked on the people of Congo. Uh, he disrespected Congo as a country. He disrespected the Congolese people as a people. I mean, he didn't like a he didn't like uh, direct his command to any particular Congolese, but to Congolese generally. You understand? He mocked the way the Congolese people dresses up. Uh, he also mocked the Congolese of not being able to, to 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 raise any cows. You understand? He said that these people. Here is some of the comments. Here is the comments he made translated to English language because he was speaking with the locals I think in Swahili language or uh, local Kenyan, another uh, local Kenyan language here is the comments uh, he said okay in the in the viral video deputy president William Ruto at a campaign rally in the Kenyan town of Nyeri on Monday, this past Monday, he is heard mocking the Congolese for wearing high waist trousers and not being able to keep cows as an investment. He said, he continued on and said, uh, we have a market in the Democratic Republic of Congo. These people who are singers, I mean the Congolese people all they know is how to sing they don't know how to do anything else apart from singing these people have a population he went on these people have a population of about 90 million but they don't own a single cow in the whole country you understand to produce like uh, milk and also meat for them you understand so these are the comments made by Kenya's deputy president, William Ruto, which I personally find to be very disrespectful, especially mocking the, the dressing way of the Congolese people was like, a, was like a very ignorant on his part. I even start to question that doctorate he has, why he is being called Dr. William Ruto. You understand? Where did he school? Because he sounds like someone who never sat really on a bench in a classroom to learn anything. You understand? He has, he has demonstrated a very poor communication skills, demonstrated ignorance, and he demonstrated high level, a very high level of stupidity. You understand? You see, here is the video in which he makes this disrespectful comments. Hapa DRC, watu, wako na 90 million people, awana hata, awana ngombe moja. Hii, hii DRC, hii watu ya kuimba hii. Kina hii watu ya, siyo na hizo kuanda bongoma, nani nani, hawa wako. 3 billion liters. Na tuko na soko kuanzia 
hapa DRC hawa watu wako na 90 million people hawana hata hawana ngombe moja hii, hii DRC hii watu ya kuimba hii kina hii watu ya sio naweza kuanda bongoma nani nani hawa wako 3 billion liters na tuko na soko kuanzia hapa DRC hawa watu wako na 90 million people hawana hata hawana ngombe moja hii, hii DRC hii watu so as you could hear himself in the video expressing himself in his William Ruto ways uh, he even mentions the name of one famous Congolese musician who goes by the name of uh, uh, Kanda Bongoman a very old Congolese musician you understand he mentioned that guy you understand as he's uh, trying to get uh, 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 the people present as his campaign to to, 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 to to understand or to realize how Congolese people dress up you understand like uh, that Congolese musician Kanda Bongoman uh, even if you couldn't understand the language in which William Ruto was expressing himself you can hear him mention repeatedly mention the name of Congo and also at some point mention the name of uh, uh, that Congolese musician Kanda Bongoman you see so the disrespectful comments of uh, William Ruto has caused a serious amount of uh, uproar uh, within uh, Congolese people both in, uh, in, uh, in Congo and outside Congo you understand and I agree with the people of Congo for being uh, annoyed uh, or alarmed by the disrespectful comments of William Ruto that attacked their their way of dressing up you understand but then you have the political class of Congo you understand they feel seriously humiliated by the comments of William Ruto because the comments of William Ruto not only are they disrespectful to the Congolese people and to Congo but uh, they somehow exposes the worthlessness or the incompetence of the Congolese political class as the leaders of Congo. You understand? So you have like a uh, two different groups of people who are annoyed because of two different comments. You understand? Uh, the Congolese people mostly are annoyed because of his comments on their way of dressing, on their uh, 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 huge uh, sized trousers, you understand? And then you have the Congolese political class. They are annoyed and alarmed by the comments of William Ruto because these comments expose their worthlessness. They are a, 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 a lack of competence as leaders of Congo. You understand who should have put in place mechanisms and systems that are helps the Congolese people to produce their own uh, uh, cows you understand and uh, produce their own meat and their own milk instead of depending on 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 the import of meat and milk you understand so it is important to clarify this that the Congolese politicians are not annoyed because the comments are disrespectful. They are annoyed because the comments calls them to responsibility. Because the comments expose they are worthlessness. Because the comments expose they are incompetence as the leaders. You understand? So I have been, as you know, the, the comments of uh, of William Ruto have been uh, translated to French language, uh, to French language, and shared. Uh, through uh, uh, and share it on Facebook through the the pages existing in almost all French speaking countries you understand so through the comments under the posters you understand you can see that Congolese people the ordinary Congolese people uh, they are not alarmed by the cow thing you understand because they know that they are victims but they are alarmed by William Ruto attacking the way they dress up. Uh, another Congolese uh, politician who, who voiced out her indignation toward the comments of uh, uh, Kenya's deputy president, uh, uh, 
uh, uh, William Ruto is uh, Francis Muyumba, who is now a senator and uh, the former president of the Pan-African uh, Users Union. She made a video, she shared a video of uh, herself on her Facebook page. I do follow her on Facebook, of course. So she shared a video, I think that was yesterday, a video in which she asks uh, uh, Kenya's uh, William Ruto to swallow back his comments to kind of come forward and apologize to Congo and to the people of Congo for his uh, disrespectful and ignorant comments. You yeah, understand? Here's the video. We are very shocked to have followed with regret the contemptuous, disrespectful, arrogant remarks made by the Deputy President of Kenya, Dr. William Ruto, against our country, the Democratic Republic of Congo in particular, and as a people of Congo in general. These remarks are unacceptable. We therefore call on Dr. Ruto to kindly withdraw his statement. Kenyan people and Congolese people are a friendly and brotherly people. As a region, we need to strengthen regional integration and economic development. This statement intends to weaken our relations. Candidates running for the highest office of this great country, Kenya, need to bear that in mind. Running for this office as a candidate, presidential candidate, one need to sharpen a sense of diplomatic responsibility and public speaking. They says unacceptable. Dr. Otto, kindly withdraw your statement. Thank you.